Is there anything more stressful than waiting for your test to come back? Let's look at them together, okay? What? I got an F? How about you, Amy? All right, Kevin. You know what we have to do. It's time to pull out the old letter-changing trick. Believe it or not, getting an A on your test may be easier than you think. All it takes is a little creativity and a keen eye. Don't worry, we've got way more clever tips just like this one to help make your days at school a little bit easier. All right, Amy, time to fork over the phone before you start the test. What a great student. Okay, now give me the rest. Ugh, how do you even know? What do you do if your teacher takes away all your cheat sheets? Yep, even that one. How did you even think you'd get away with all that stuff? Good luck, I guess? All right, Kevin, hand over that phone. Anything else I should know about? Nope. I would never dream of cheating. All I brought is my soda. If you need a place to hide your cheat sheet, flip your soda bottle upside down. Then with a sharpie marker, start writing out your formulas on the plastic. But with formulas this long, how will the teacher not see? Because when you turn the bottle over, the soda covers it all. That's how. So now when you're struggling on an exam in class, you can rely on your good old soda bottle to help you out. Oh boy, the grades are back already? Well, that's what happens when you rely on your cheat sheet. Or rather, a poorly hidden one. Who said algebra was that hard anyway? Care to share the wealth, Kevin? Sure, but let me take a sec to cover my tracks. Now you see them, now you don't. Wow, that skateboarder totally ate it. Oops, sorry teach, I'll put it away. Looks like you'll have to save the rest of that video for after school. Unless… I have the best idea! Amy! Mind if we do the old phone watching trick we practiced? Next time you need to watch a video in class, try getting some help from the person in front of you. Simply put the phone case underneath your friend's shirt like this. Now stick your phone in the case with the shirt still in between. Be sure to make sure it's in tight. Hey, what was that? Ugh, seriously, Kevin? Don't forget, your friend is still attached to that thing. Better make sure the volume is off on that thing, or you'll definitely give yourself away. Kevin? What are you doing back there? I'd better go see what's going on. Quick, hide the evidence! Oh, hey, Mrs. Appleby! What brings you to this side of the classroom? Phew, that could have been really bad. Okay, Amy, we're in the clear. Hey, Kevin! Looks like Amy made it to class by the skin of her teeth. She's nearly ten minutes late. What's Kevin working on over there? Wait, today's not… circle day, is it? Oh no, I totally forgot to bring my tools! Come on, I've gotta have something! Perhaps these markers could save the day. To make your own compass, put your finger in place on a piece of paper as you draw around it with your hand. If you hold things steadily enough, you can get a perfect circle. Yes! This looks amazing! You never guessed this was a freehand circle, would you? Whoa, even the teacher is fooled. Looks like Kevin is doing just about anything in his room other than his homework. Kevin, what are you doing in here? <sighs> You'd better start doing some homework, young man. Well, looks like the fun's over, Kevin. Time to buckle down and get to work. It seems my job is done here. But while mom's away, Kevin will play. Watching videos in your room is great and all, but you have to make sure you have an escape plan. Stick one of those plastic hooks on the top corner of the door, facing downward. Then add another one slightly above it to the wall like this. Then hook a bungee cord knotted on the first hook and string it through the second one. Then string it to the other side of the door, where you'll put another hook. Once it's on that hook, attach the end of the cord to the back of your phone, like so. So the next time you're watching videos instead of doing your homework, and get a surprise visit from mom, you don't ever have to worry about getting caught red-handed. Hmm, looks like Kevin really is doing his homework for once. I never thought the day would come, but he really does listen to me. And just like that, you can get back to doing what you really want to do. Watch car chase videos for an hour. Sweet! 
In between classes, there's nothing wrong with a little playing around to give your mind a break. The only bad thing about throwing a ball indoors is it's just a matter of time before it gets intercepted. And poor Amy doesn't even see it coming. BAM! Oh, that definitely had to hurt. Amy, are you okay? I'm fine, but my ego's a little bruised. Oh no! My earrings are ruined! You stupid boys! You have no respect for fashion! Jeez, Amy can be so overdramatic, don't you think? If you are in a jewelry jam, try using colored paper clips to make new earrings. After unfolding them into a triangle shape like this, just put a glob of clear glue where the metal separates. Once the glue is dry, take some thread and wrap it around and around the metal, completely covering it. This may take a while, but do trust us, it'll be worth it. Once that's done, take some more clear glue to secure the end of the string in place. Last but not least, use an earring piece like this to dangle this triangle from. And before you know it, you've got yourself a new pair of fabulous earrings. Whoa! Who knew some new spunky jewelry could take Amy's confidence from a 5 to a 10 in just seconds? Yep, that's right. I know I look fabulous. Uh, Kevin, didn't anyone ever to tell you to keep your eyes on the ball? That rule applies to you too, Justin. But once a pretty girl comes into the picture, boys tend to let sports take a back seat. Aw, look at these students hard at work. But nothing can spoil good workflow like an empty glue bottle. Come on, there's gotta be something left in this thing. Ugh, Amy's totally wasting her time. Okay, hand it over. You just need a man's strength to get this stuff out, trust me. Okay, just give me a minute here. <clears throat> Mission major muscle strength, now commencing. Still… squeezing… Okay, there's gotta be a better way to do this. I know there's still glue in here. Oh, that glue is ready to come out and it is angry! Oh man, I just wanted a glob, not full-on glue hands! Well, that's some man strength for ya. If your glue caps are getting clogged up with dried glue, put them in a bowl and give them a little bath. Pour regular old oil on all the caps, making sure they're completely submerged. Now let them soak for a while so the glue can get loosened. Now with a napkin, wipe off each cap one at a time. See? No nasty glue crust in sight. Finally, no more pressurized glue mishaps to worry about when you're working on your next masterpiece. Just clean, streaming glue. Right where you need it. Oh man, I thought that glue was never gonna get off my hands. No! Get that evil thing away from me! If you love these school hacks, you'll love these hilarious outtakes even more. Which hack did you find most useful? Be sure to share this video with your classmates. And don't forget to subscribe to 123Go's YouTube channel for more awesome tricks and hacks. See you next time!